Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be about a new little fogger that I acquired. But I just wanted to show you, I thought it was a fitting day to do a, a video on a fogger. Because we have got nothing but fog here today. I don't know if some of you are familiar with my view, but um, it's pretty foggy out there right now. You can't see much of anything. Over here, the two carnivorous um, plant bogs are looking fantastic in the rain. Venus flytraps are looking amazing right now. Coming out in flower, I think. Oh no, that's a sundew flower there. Lots of flowers on the sundews too. Looking really good. But anyways, we're going to head into the greenhouse. And I am going to show you my new fogger system. Okay, into the greenhouse we go. And this is my new little toy. It's like an old Chevy that I've been fixing up all week here. Um, I traded it and it was a very, very fair trade on my side with a member of my Orchid Society, so thank you for that. Um, it's sort of a hydrofogger. I don't know if it's a really, really old hydrofogger because it doesn't look like the ones that you'd buy now. Um, it's before my time anyways of greenhousing. But metal pan and, you know, it's a little bit, um, a little bit worn. I had to replace a bunch of strip screws on it basically take it all apart, do an overhaul on it, um, realign a bunch of stuff. But this guy is, he works great now, so I wanted to show it to you. Perfect for the orchids and the penthes. It produces more of a, a drier fog than, a, than the overhead misters do. It um, basically, some, a little thing spins in the bottom here and picks up a bit of water. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but this guy spins at a really high RPM. And as the water droplets hit this, as they come up sort of that curved surface in there and hit this, they get um, chopped up into fog. So let's um, plug it in and have a look at it. So it's a little bit loud, but so you can, um, you can definitely see the fog working on it. Um, I've got some parts coming from eBay there to actually hook up a ball valve so I can have some constant water. Like, um, the pan doesn't hold that much water, so you get maybe a half an hour's worth of running time out of it, which this time of year is fine. I'm not going to be using it very much anyways, but come spring, I might just, um, use this guy quite often. So you can see the fog that it's creating in the greenhouse. I just have a light on here. It's kind of a gloomy day. So it comes with a little metal grate that goes over the, the top of it. But I find it's good for protecting it when you're not about to use it. But the little water droplets gather on the grate and kind of fall back in and cut your fog production down. But we'll just let it run for a few minutes and... Um, See what happens here. So you can see it makes the greenhouse nice and foggy quite fast too. Today um, it's easy to make it foggy because it's so um, humid and cloudy outside. Normally on a cloudy day like this I wouldn't actually um, run this guy probably much of much at all because it's already nice and humid in here. But on a hot sunny day it's going to be just great. So head over to the orchids here. There's Catlea and Evanda. Here's another Catlea. They're all gonna appreciate the humidity as well. I love those guys, the cockle shell orchids there. Got a few bloom spikes on those. Let's look back over at the fog now. So I keep it more on the cooler side of the greenhouse anyways. With the Nepenthes and the Massivalias and Draculas, those sort of plants love the humidity, so it's going to be just great for them. Other than being a little bit loud, it definitely produces tons and tons of fog, and it's really dry. I'm not worried about the camera getting wet. It um, isn't forming any kind of droplets on anything at all. So I don't know if you guys have seen this sort of type of hydrofogger before. It uh, has no brand on it. I would love to know exactly what it is so I could get parts for it if I needed them. Um, 
the hydrofogger website that I go to is looks it looks nothing like that at all. This just looks probably like a decade or so old maybe. But check out what it does. It just is fabulous. Look at the fog that it creates. With this guy running in here for five or ten minutes, it is absolutely foggy, like thick, thick fog. Can't even really walk in here. Too foggy. So all the Nepenthes are going to really love that. Macrophylla just um, put out a new picture there. Let's see if I can focus on it. He's looking really good. A few new Nepenthes at the back there. Matas. A bunch of seeds. I'm going to do a video on um, Nepenthe seed soon. I just want a few more to germinate before I do. Give you something to look at. I hung a few Nepenthes up and a few orchids up this week. Just trying to make sure they're in the brightest possible spot for winter. The helis are going to love all the, um, the extra humidity that this fog produces. You can see um, little spider webs collecting the dew now, all in here. You can actually see a spider in that dew. But yeah, so that is the new hydrofogger. Hopefully the motor on it wasn't so loud you couldn't um, hear anything. But look at that, you can't even see the back of the greenhouse now. So, hope you like this video. And as I say, if you guys know what that is exactly, if it is indeed a hydrofogger or, or what brand it is, let me know in the comments below. I would love to be able to um, just fit it for some parts and stuff like that if I need to. And we will see you next time. As always, thanks for watching.